Hello and welcome to our new series called Color Grading DIY. Here we will practice our color correction and grading together. Here's the twist. Unlike most other tutorials, you'll be able to download the footage used here for educational purposes. Watch this video to the end and subscribe to our channel if you're not already subscribed. Color Finale 2 Pro is regularly updated with new tools and features. Check your current version to make sure you are up to date to get the most out of these videos. If you haven't got Color Finale 2, no worries. Download and follow along with our free 7 day trial, link in the description. With that out of the way, let's see our colleague Sarah's take on grading this episode's footage. Hi there! Color Finale 2 Pro include a wide range of professional color tools. I want to show you how flexible the process of color correction and grading can be when using Final Cut Pro together with Color Finale 2 Pro. I'll begin by adding the clip to the timeline and applying Color Finale 2 Pro from the effects list. So here I've got video that was filmed in log. The first thing I need to do is convert it to a video color space such as Rec 709. A conversion LUT can help me with this. The built-in gallery helps me find exactly what I need. I've decided to explore using some of the new tools added in the recent 2.5 update. For example, let's see what log wheels can do. I can give this shot as many moods as my imagination allows. I think right now I'll play it safe and go for a bright summary look, just what this scene obviously calls for. I'll create a group and add log wheels to it. To use this new tool in the intended way, it's recommended that you always put it below the conversion LUT layer, and indeed any other layers. I think a parent mask will do nicely to separate the adjustments I will make to the sky from the adjustments I'll do to the rest of the landscape. So I put a gradient mask over the group that separates the sky from the landscape. So I'm not afraid to split the grading work into as many layers as there are adjustments. The bottom layer I'll use for landscape adjustments. I need to click on Invert Parent Mask to work with this layer. So I'll start adjusting to my liking. Here, I would like to make the grass more green. Done. Now I'll turn my focus to the layer above, the one that I'm using to work on the sky. Again, I'll adjust the main parameters to get closer to the look that I'm going for. I'm able to bring out many details in the clouds. Log wheels help avoid clipping in the highlights because they take advantage of the full dynamic range of log footage. Looking good. What do you think? Next, let's give this tractor a punchy red colour. The easiest thing for me to do here is to use the six vectors layer and adjust the red vector. I'm liking this. I think I'm nearly there. All that's left to do are some finishing touches to the overall look. For example, I think we can increase the saturation in the mid-tones, fix the highlights a little, shadows, and mid-tones again. Looking better. To give it that final touch, I'll add some grain from the film emulation section of the inspector panel. Colour grading is all about artistic choices and experimentation. My taste is bound to be different to yours. How would you do it? Thanks, Sarah. With the help of Colour Finality Pro, you can bring out any number of moods very easily. Combining multiple layers means you've got the freedom to create beautiful results. For example, Sarah started out by applying a conversion LUT to the log footage to bring it into video color space. She created two log wheel layers, one to work in the sky and one for landscape. She then used a horizontal mask to separate them. Note that with log wheels, the way to use them is to always put them underneath any conversion LUT layer 
or indeed any other layers. This is so that they can act on the log footage before it's processed by anything else. Sarah finished up by adding several more layers, such as six vectors and color wheels, followed by the final touch of adding some film grain. Color Finality Pro is non-destructive, so you can apply as many layers as you want. This was our take. Now it's your turn to try color grading this shot. Check out the description to download the footage and to find our social media information. Thank you for watching this video and hope you can join us for the next one. Goodbye.